All right, we have another spectating bronze today. We're going to be watching a Cassidy and a Reaper on Dorado. Now, sometimes we get Ego VODs. Ego VODs are where some, you know, you'll get like 60 limbs. You'll be like, oh, can you watch this four minute push game where I have 60 limbs? This one, the description says 37 limbs and 17 deaths. I think that speaks for itself. Let's just watch to see what happens because th this is going to be quite a treat if that is the score line here. Let's see how this one goes. Now, let's look at your team comp to go out of spawn doors. You got the classic Ramatra, May, Reaper, uh, Life Weaver, Moira comp that has been, you know, it's a comp. Let's find out. Here we go. It's Reaper time. Oh, yeah, this is going to be a treat. All right, here we go. You found a Moira in this room. There's a Wrecking Ball in that room with you. Wait, is it just going to be a Wrecking Ball? On... You TP'd like two feet! Okay, you don't have to TP like two feet to get to somebody? Oh, I can tell this is going to be a treat. That's a good TP! I like that! That was a good TP! Don't go to the front of the cart. Try to be... Oh, yeah. There we go. That's... Oh, that Widow really reacted to you. Okay, here we go again. I do like the Reaper pick for the ball right now. You do some good damage. Cast is also a good pick, which is why I imagine you're playing Cast. Okay, so it seems like you just want to use TP to use TP. You're, you just try to throw your TP at the Wrecking Ball. I just want to point that out. You tried the TP onto the Wrecking Ball. Okay, now we're going to TP onto the Bastion. Bastion, once again, does not care. All right, you got the Bastion. Okay, so, so far, I'd recommend just... You don't have to TP as much as you are. That's what I'm noticing so far. I mean, it could be on console. I, I it, it didn't specify. Um, we generally, when we pick the VODs, we just watch, you know. Nice play. Yeah, this is... I don't know how to really talk about the... What in the... Okay, I'm already going to talk about this. Because I don't... You do not have to TP three feet, okay? It is okay to save your TP to go get this mini health back over here. Nope, not even that. You're Okay, you got it. Nice. Okay, you don't have to TP. You don't have to use... No, don't... Okay, we're going to talk right away about this. Stop using your movement abilities to just get to them. Because you need that ability... To get out. Don't TP. You do not TP right here. Okay, this is an okay TP. Don't you... They're gonna get you anyway. I don't... Did he, did he say 37 a limb? So 37 teleports. I don't know. Alright. Has this Wrecking Ball died yet? Oh, yeah. That answers that. Don't TP the... Okay, the May was on the other side. Please don't TP here. Don't TP, please. You don't have to TP three feet. I don't... Good fade. That's good. I swear if you TP right now. You don't have to TP here. Okay, good. There's a lot happening. Get the May. Get the May. Oh, there's no way you're TPing into that team right now. There is no way. The best part is, is that ended up being a good TP. Because you dodged the mines. I, I, okay. To talk about teleport. It's meant to be a cooldown to get more distance. Not just a TP for fun. Two feet in front of you. So, like, it's, it's not a cooldown you just use to use. Like, you can... Uh, you know what? It, it worked. I don't even... Okay, here we go. Is 
said, has he died yet? You know what? I think Reaper might have died once. You want to know the, you want to know what the best part about this is? We're at this point in the game. The Reaper said they had 17 deaths. So we haven't even got to the 17 deaths part of this yet. I just want to point that out. We haven't even got to that part yet. Oh, here's one of them. There's one of them right there. You said you think you think you think they've TP'd more than you ever did playing Reaper, and you have like 50 hours on them. Oh, here we go. I mean, this TP is okay. I, I get that TP. You don't have to do that one, but like I, I can I can justify that teleport right there. You don't have to use fade right there. You're fine. You're behind cover. That's good positioning. Oh yeah. There we go. You're gonna get it. If it works, it works, right? If it works, it works, right, chat? The shadow is colorless. Meanwhile, this wrecking ball's been having a blast. Oh, I wonder what's gonna happen here, chat. What's the play? Uh, I'd probably TP in right now. Oh, there we go. I good TP, actually. Not a bad TP. So the reason why they're able to get you there, the reason why they're able to get you is because you're using your cooldowns that you would want to use to escape. Try to focus on using your abilities more as like an escape than just using them to use them. I think you'll see good results with that. No. All right, nice. Okay, you have your ult coming up. Oh, there we go. We're gonna use shift to get back quickly. There we go. Use your shift. See, now you're on an eight second cooldown, which means if they go for you here, you can't shift. But you can TP, that's for sure. Yep, here we go. And you got out. I don't even. Hey, the good news is there's a, there's a lot to kind of learn off of this because I can already see when you're playing Reaper. You're just spamming your cooldown. That is already something right away if you're looking at like improvement. Change up the playstyle a little bit. It's okay to use it aggressively sometimes, but you're just spamming the cooldown. You're like, I have a cooldown, I'm gonna use it. Oh, you, you know what? We got we gotta teleport here in a second. Might as well teleport. Get the May and then teleport. It's time. Oh no, we'll fade right away. Oh yeah, here we go. Cleared some of the mines. We'll, we'll take that. We'll take that. There we go. All right. Okay, fade into the Bastion. It works as you reload. Teleport three feet back onto the point. Oh, what's that? There's a Mayo. Thankfully, they didn't get on the point. I don't even... At this point, I don't even know what... This is... I... No, we got cast now. Be careful of your position in here because... If you stand still there, it's going to be a little bit easier for them to hit the shots on you. So just, just like... Damn. Talking about positioning. Where are you? Here we go. I like the switch for uh, you're going. I, 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 so what happened here is your team, I think, wanted you to switch the cast to help with the ball. So try to use your cooldowns not on. Try to use your cooldowns more to prevent the ball from doing that rather than just use them randomly across the map. Flash. At. So at the Wrecking Ball, so the, the stick does work pretty well, but you want to be at like a little bit towards them, otherwise it will just miss. So just be wary of that. See like how you're throwing it kind of randomly? It needs to be a little bit more towards them. So. Yep, definitely be a little more patient with your... So your positioning right now is definitely like a part of what could help you improve. Oh, you know what? I respect it. I respect that play. 
You gotta go in and right click Randy sometimes, right? Well, that, I can already tell. One thing I'm seeing is like your cooldown usage. Is you, you're just using abilities when they come up. Like that is just like the first thing that you can already work on is just you're just like I have an ability. I'm using it. Be patient with your abilities. Like you don't need to use your flash right here yet, or your roll. Your your roll is good to. Yeah, you're gravitating towards the point, aren't you? Yeah, you're heading this way. All right, here we go again. That widow is going back to spawn. That's the best part. Oh no, the flank high noon gets two. Why? You know what? Why not? There we go. But see, you make a play like that, and you know what? I have no problem with that play, which is why I'm saying focus on your cooldown usage because there's there's plays you're making that are good. So if you're able to do that. You know what I'm saying? The pull? So your teammate pulled you to save you from... I see this happen so much with Life Weaver. Sometimes Life Weaver pulls aren't good. But I see this consistent theme that happens with Life Weaver, where your Life Weaver will pull you away from something. Like, they'll be like, okay, listen, I'm seeing this. There's mines there. There's a lot. We can't save you, right? So many players will get pulled by Life Weaver, and they will immediately... Sprint back to the spot where they pulled you from and go right in. They're like, oh, thank you for saving me. I'm going right back into that exact same spot. Good luck. And then they'll fall over and then that's, they go back to spawn. That's what just happened right there. So like what ends up happening is, is rather than having high ground as Cassidy, which is really strong, you run in, die to the Wrecking Ball mine, get res by your mercy, great res, and then you end up getting rolled again. High ground, by the way. Cast is really good on high ground here um, in general, so make sure that you start to focus a little bit more on that when you're playing um, heroes like Cast. Not so much Reaper, obviously. Ooh, nice. Right click Randy time. Oh, you're rolling randomly right now. No, you're not. Oh, there it is. Yep, okay. Based off of what we've seen, just remember to be a little bit more patient with your cooldown usage. It's okay to roll out of spawn a few times. I'm not talking about this stuff here. I'm talking about when you get there. Also, Try to wait on regrouping and taking high ground. I'm telling you right now, if you're playing cast, you're gonna like having the high ground. Even if like, you're not necessarily hitting your shots from high ground, it gives you an idea and almost like a vantage point. Don't go back out there, they life creeped you for a reason. Okay, good job. It gives you an idea of what your next play is. You get what I'm saying? All right, here we go. That's the Widow. Uh, you know what? Chad, listen. We might sit there and be like, wow, that was interesting, but we respect that, okay? If your Cassidy is gonna go right-click Randy Widow, we respect that play. We respect that. This is a high noon idea. This is a, this is a high noon. Yeah. And, no, don't run back in there. They threw, they saved you on purpose. Don't go back in yet. There's a bunch of mine. You don't have to know your... We're going to third point. We're just going to third point. It's almost like you're just kind of exploring the map. Like you run out of spawn, and then you just kind of run at them. Can I be honest with you? I don't know how that missed. I'm sorry, but what? A cast will be looking down at the floor and stick me with that. I am sorry, but you should have had this widow. Excuse me? There's no way. Oh! I didn't wait. Uh, uh, how? I, I, but what? Excuse me? I like how you finally, like, that was a good usage of your flash, of your magnetic grenade, and that's what happens to it. That was unlucky on that one. Just remember here, you don't want, you don't have to necessarily just full sprint to the cart. Like, you can play it a little bit slower here for a second. Where are you? Oh, yeah, we're gonna go right in. All right, here we go. Yeah, we're just gonna roll right into the team. And there we go. That's what I mean. Don't do that. When you do that, it requires... Like, there's so many things that... Guess what? We get to watch more Reaper. Will there be adjustments made? Will there be less... T uh, TPs that go three feet. We're about to find out. All right, here we go again. Oh, 
TP time. Once it, once this May backs away, a TP's happening. I guarantee it. Oh yeah. Nope. Gonna shift. Wait! Wait! Didn't TP! Okay, I like that. I like that. Didn't see Okay! That's oh! That was good! You didn't TP into the junk rat because your teammates were gonna be fine there. You TP'd to high ground, which is gonna be good for Reaper. That was a good play. I like that. That's what I mean by good usage of cooldowns there. All right? Also, that Moira is not on your team. This is better. Less TP usage. Okay. As long as you don't TP right here, I'm happy with that. Okay, let's see. Thankfully, you TP two feet to the cart. Um, oh, yeah, here we go. Why not, right? Why not? Yep, why not get the Wrecking Ball there? Yeah, there we go. All right. That's what I mean by your cooldowns. Like, you're using your cooldowns to just use them. It's okay to use shift to reload sometimes, too. I'm fine with that shift. Alright, it's over time now, so be careful here. Now, you notice how you use shift and you went into a mail? Alright, okay, good timing. Be careful, there's a bunch of mines there, too. Be careful. Don't TP on a mine. No. Just be smart here. You want to stay on point. You have your ult. You can just ult randomly. Just ult. Ult now because they're going to try and tire you. Okay, they didn't try to tire you. That's good. Use your ult. Use your ult here. It's okay to use your ult. I would have used it sooner than that. I, I think the timing on that was a little bit off, but it happens, all right? Yeah, all right. What a, this is great. Back to cast though. Looks like you don't like to play Reaper on defense. You like to play you like to play cast on defense and Reaper on attack. Can you win this? Be careful on just standing still at the beginning here. You did it last time, and they didn't get you, but when you do it, okay. Uh, there's a widow above you. There's a widow above you. Oh my. There was a widow. Alright, will will you take the journey around the map again or will you stay up here? There's a widow. Widow recognize the heroes they have? In, like, position somewhere on the map. Oh, back to Reaper. All right, here we go. Ah, yes. You don't have to TP anywhere right now. You're in a fine spot. It's a good position. Good job not TPing. Remember, though, you use your shift randomly, so your teammates have to catch up on heals on you. All right. Don't shift randomly here. Yo, there we go. Might as well, right? Be careful, because you don't have your cooldown. You just used it. All right. Here we go. Popping off now. Nice pick. I like how they're just running at you. Notice how you're not TPing right now and trying to make, like, aggressive plays like you were? Even with just not using TP here, you've given yourself more opportunity to go on point and maybe make a play. Here it goes. This is easily you know. Are you seeing this? Are you seeing this? You're not TPing randomly, and you're seeing decent play here, right? You seeing this? This is what we're talking about. You don't even need a TP. Don't you, don't you TP here. No, TP, you can TP. You can TP. You can TP, you use your shift. That, that was the moment where you can TP. That's also what happens when you use your cooldowns and have that, you know, run into them with that position. All right, you know you're TPing right now. You're double TPing. Here we go, there's one TP. It's a sim TP, but. Yeah, here we go. So when you TP like that, oh, they're, they're somehow you're getting res. Somehow you're getting res. What a treat. And you get in a limb. Why not, right? What a res. What a res. And you're still up now. 
I, I can't believe this, that you're gonna, you're probably gonna win this game now, aren't you? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's TP. Here we go. Into the window. All right. Not a bad TP, actually. I like that. Remember, you have shift. There you go. He won that game. I don't We're going to talk about that for a second. I would recommend, think about your cooldown usage. I, that's the best I can go with here. Your position will come with time. Working in a position is really good. But just try not to just use your cooldowns to use your cooldowns. When you're using... Like teleporter. Why are you using teleporter? What's the what's the point to teleport two feet? Are you going in their back line? Are you trying to get out of an ultimate? Like fallout. Why are you using your shift? Are you using your shift to reload? Feasible. Are you using your shift to escape the other team and get to a good spot? Makes sense. Are you using your shift because you just want to use it? Not the most ideal play. Think about that stuff. That was that was quite the game though. I that was that was something. 37 limbs, 17 deaths. But you picked up the dub. If it works, it works, right? If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like button. Sub to the YouTubes if you haven't. I hope you've been enjoying a lot of the spectating content. I've been having an absolute blast. And uh, yeah, like the video. Hope you all have an amazing day slash night.